Hi there, today on Typical Books we're talking about The Grimmer by Nabin Ruthnum. This is a young adult horror novel come out from ECW Press and it's being released on September 26th so I'm very excited to talk about it and thank you ECW for sending this along. Now of course it is a YA book and it is a younger YA book for younger folk than what I would take as YA. Uh, last year, you may recall, I talked about The Ghost Tracks by Celso Hurtado and talked about how I was surprised by how it grapples with some very adult things, specifically drug use and the parents' use of drugs in that book. And here we have a similar premise. Young Vish has just come back from away. He was sent to a boarding school and not because of his own antics necessarily. He was sent away because his father had a drug problem and his parents needed to deal with that. So he has returned and everything's a little bit awkward. And you may remember a couple weeks ago I mentioned, hey, it seems that he's uh, maybe autistic or something because he's talking about things in a way that someone with a little flat affect may or he has some habits where he has soft furry things in his pocket that it's mentioned that he pets at the beginning to calm down which is something that autistic people I know too at least do as a tactic to keep themselves grounded as far as a sensory kind of distraction. It is a soothing tactic but it's not mentioned again later in the book so I was derailed at the beginning just by some of the things Vish said and did and thought that we're talking about a neuroatypical teen but not necessarily. If there is a follow-up or a second book, a third book, who knows if this is going to be a series and Vish will be returning, I have a feeling he will then maybe we will explore that a little deeper but it was just a hint that I had gotten and maybe I was mistaken. I don't know. But anyway, Vish is a pretty cool kid and he is pretty much unflappable too. So Vish is this young teen who, like I said, has come back from away and he's trying to mend things with his old friends and it's not going very well. He's kind of a loner now and he kind of was before, but even more so. So when he stumbles into the bookstore looking for like some more adult fare, I suppose, to read because he's grown up a little bit, then he makes friends with the store owner. Augusta is the store owner and as a small little Kelowna community it is in British Columbia, I suppose they're supposed to be the only two brown families and Augusta has lost his wife as well. So he's a single older gentleman, maybe in his 30s or 40s because from the point of view of a very young adult, somebody in their 30s or 40s is older, right? So Augusta is like probably 35 or 40. There's also a girl that goes into the store a lot, Gisela, and she's sort of a gothy kind of chick, I suppose. So she hangs out in this bookstore, this bookish girl, and he, Vish, is hired by Augusta to work there part time. This is after they've discovered something very interesting about him. He has the power to repel this supernatural entity named Mr. Ferris, who has been haunting Augusta and Gisela, and they've been fighting him. So there's sort of a Buffy vampire slayer thing going on in the undercurrents, the underground, the nightlife of this city between this young teenage girl, this bookstore owner, and Vish stumbles into it at a moment when he is quite vulnerable himself. So I really enjoyed that bit of it. Now, a little bit about Vish as a character, which, you know, it's something that maybe didn't speak to me, but it may speak to younger audiences, of course, is that he talks about becoming an adult. So like next year when he drinks coffee, like he's planning out his adulthood from that young of an age. And I don't remember doing that necessarily. Like you have ideas of like, well, when I get my license, I will will this with my life. Or once I'm not paid minimum wage anymore, I will this with my life. And you make these little these little pipe dream plans, I suppose. But he his plans are so much smaller. Like when he drinks coffee, he's looking forward to the day he drinks coffee. It's just kind of awkward. But who knows? The writing style is really calming. It's very simple, of course, because it's written for a younger reading level and it doesn't really go too far outside of that. The uh, magic realms and the realism don't clash terribly and it's not too as much as high or complex magic. I'm not a fantasy reader, so I don't know the terms to use. And this strikes me far more of a um, dark urban fantasy or magic realism 
in a YA setting. So I like the Canadian setting quite a lot. I like Vish being a little bit of a metalhead, even though it's a little bit telegraphed, you know, we're a little bit spoon fed his music love, but that never comes across right on the page, I feel. So it's no fault of Nabin Ruthnam's whatsoever. I like the bands that they've chosen for young Vish to be interested in too, because it's just so kind of perfect for that sort of teen to be into this like foundational uh, early British invasion metal and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really interesting characters all around. The supernatural entities, I don't want to spoil it too much, but Mr. Ferris is one of them. And I like the way he's described. It is creepy. So this is much, for a much younger audience than a typical YA as I usually understand it. So I think that this will go with a middle grade as well. It's not overtly terrifying or gory or scary. There are some scenes of body horror and blood and, and throwing up. There's quite a lot of that. And it does get a little bit gruesome here and there that way, but it's never uh, too hate filled or violent as some horror tends to be. So I really did enjoy that as far as it being for a younger audience. One thing that I think is really cool about ECW Press themselves is that they are very cool with accessibility. If you pick this book up and you find that you would rather an audiobook because of sensory reasons, if this print is too small because your eyesight is poor or what have you, uh, they will gladly send you a better format of the book if you send them proof that you've purchased it. So I love that. I love that about ECW. I really like the artwork and the way that this is bound. I don't know if this is the final mock-up, but I can't see them changing this cool artwork at all. The title of the Grimmer has something to do with the end. I can't spoil it at all, but the title itself brings you right to the end. It's mentioned here and there throughout it with their evasive about the meaning of it. And it's not till the very end where everything just sort of clicks together. And I really enjoyed the, the meaning of the title itself. And you gotta love when a book, you know, the front cover of a book and the title of a book really has meaning as far as the story goes. And part of that very satisfying ending has a lot to do with the title. And couldn't you just see that as like a band shirt or a logo, isn't that cool? But yeah, anyway, the Grimmer, Nabin Ruthnam, if you are looking for some gateway horror for younger people, or if you are very sensitive to some horror things, then YA can always be the thing for you. I would say check this out for a very light, cozy read. Now, of course I found it too young for me. So a lot of horror readers may also find that is the case. But like I said, if you're looking for a really good gift this holiday season, whether it be spooky season or Christmas, the Grimmer might be a good stocking stuffer that way. As far as what books it's like, I can't really think of any. I mean, if you want to talk about a really wild comparison, We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. If you want a version of that for a middle grade or younger audience, then this may be for you. Had you read The Grimmer or some of Nabin Ruthman's previous adult horror books like Find You in the Dark and Help Me. Help Me got a lot of buzz last year. And that's one that upon receiving this, I did want to go back and read some of their like older, more adult horror books. So yeah, so if you've read The Grimmer or Help Me, let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you have an ooky spooky day.